Hello, hello, how are we doing today? Happy Thursday, hi Jan School. Your uh, typical entrance has returned. <laughs> and this time I have to hydrate three times. Okay, I have some tea. Let's do it with tea. One, two, and three. Here we go. Today I'm gonna make a cup of chocolate I have done it before I'm gonna do one more in this kind of like baby blue color and that's all <laughs> how is your day today are you traveling okay let's go back to the cup we're starting with a ring of six perfect you know Jansku uh, we have talked about how can I have music at my countdown and obviously I have lost the message so I reminded to myself that this was kinda easy so I tried to do it without the message and I succeeded <laughs> my arse... oh... sorry to hear I hope that you're gonna feel better soon a two, three, four, five and six. Today we have company as well. Two hours more to go at least. And Jeff is back again. Really? Already? Wow. Jeff is not wasting his time. He's efficient. Alright. Let me pull this thread. Oh. Sometimes with this fluffier yarn, pulling the threads is kind of difficult. But here we are to overcome all the obstacles. <laughs> and let's continue. Next round we have to do 12. I don't know if I'm getting sick as well. Because I feel that my voice is weird. I feel that my nose is kind of feeling weird. So I really hope that I'm not gonna get sick. This is the last thing that I need now. Two. It is either A, I'm getting sick, or B, there is something that, I don't know, I start becoming allergic to. Back from the ads. Welcome back. I said, like, Jeff did not waste any time. He's like, okay, we are starting. <laughs> we want to show as many products as possible. Okay. Mm, two. Yes. One, two. Three, four. Mm. That's very weird. I'm not starting very strong, but still. So I was saying that maybe I'm starting getting sick, and this is not a good thing, but it is what it is. Four. And it's not that I, I'm afraid of being sick, but I try to build a schedule and I try to be more consistent in the things that I'm doing. So falling sick now is not a good idea for me. But it might be also because yesterday like I was kind of stressed and uh, I slept later than usual. So maybe my body reacts to that because I'm not used to sleeping very late. I feel kinda like that too, gotta hope not, because I was sick recently and then having to cancel my- yeah, it's not nice being sick. And I also was sick recently, like during the beginning of September, so it feels kinda like how? Like this year is very weird for me and my health. It is almost like I'm falling sick, but then I'm kinda fine, so I don't know. Let's hope that we will be fine. A one, two, there we go. 
my baby is kind of slow these days maybe it has to do with the rain because when it's raining both uh, the cats are kind of slower they are not very in the mood of playing and i don't know i kind of have this in my head and it is making me a little bit stressed as well imagine traveling half of the country and get sick and night. <laughs> wow no This doesn't sound like a good idea. Five, six. It depends on how sick you are also. Like if you are like slightly sick, I feel you can still do things. Single, double. Today I spent so much time in looking about my driver's license. I tried to convert it into a Swedish one and uh, I have to go to I thought that it would be police to take some pictures and renew but then I lost the paper that they sent me so maybe I have to go to the traffic center or whatever it's called directly and this is not a very good plan it is what it is though I'm just not looking very forward to do it one Increase. These very deeply adult stuff are making me feel so bored. Two. And every time that I do something like that and it is taking me a lot of time, I feel that I have just wasted my time while I could have done way more fun stuff. kind of annoyed that I couldn't get a free meal at work because the machine I log in and get my voucher didn't work for all and you had to pay One, two. is it number three yes perfect One, two, three. I had the pasta with mushroom from yesterday and a sausage from two days before and I'm kind of fine because the plan is not to eat way too much for lunch otherwise I feel sleepy and I have so much stuff to do today because I was planning to edit the full morning instead I woke up late like I couldn't sleep plus I was reading my book to feel better and the book was good <laughs> so I could not put it down and go to sleep and I woke up around 10 which is very late for me and then i had to do the driver's license plus a little bit of editing so my whole schedule went out of the window something that doesn't make me feel so good necessarily the good thing is that i didn't have any lessons tomorrow uh, today or tomorrow all right uh, round number five and we're doing some good progress here i end up going to eat in the central of Pancho Villa, which is more like Mexican. Ooh, sounds interesting. And my internet is cutting out. Welcome to the Middle East. <laughs> but I imagine the last, the landscape that you see right now, it is fantastic, right? Straight out of the fairy tales. If you take any pictures, please do share. Uh, this is number three, right? Right. One, two, three. Yes. So uh, the fourth one we are doing. It's not, but if you are in the middle of the woods, isn't it kind of like green and full of trees and stuff like that? Do I have like a, a false idea? One. Four. Let me continue with my tea. Just dark green, brown-ish, and dark rain-ish. It is very rainy here as well. I don't know, I enjoy the rain. It is um, contributing to the whole cozy vibe of the season. And especially today, for example, when I don't have to go out for something. 
It is fantastic. I grew up uh, hating autumn because mainly the schools were starting and it was a very stressful period for me. Uh, but nowadays I appreciate the beauty of it. Like you can do so many cozy stuff that they are a bit weird if you do them during other seasons. I really hope that today I'm not gonna do any mistakes because yesterday I was feeling kind of weird anyway and I did all this kind of like what am I reading slash what am I doing and I got stressed and this kind of didn't help as well and then we are doing two singles and an increase okay there we go Switching train in like one hour and twenty minutes. Nice. I don't think that I've ever traveled to a place that I needed to switch train or plane or whatever. Four in an increase. One. Three. For me, when I'm traveling, the most stressful part is to make sure that I have taken the correct train or plane or whatever. If I'm inside, I can enjoy my trip. It's not like that difficult. Two, three, four. And with this, I mean like, I know some people suffer from dizziness and stuff like that. For me, it's not like that. I really can do anything in train or in a car or in a plane. In some case, I had to switch three times. Wow. Really? That was like a, a trip in Finland or more international? Let's see. One, two, increase. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Increase. Fantastic. No mistakes so far. <sighs> is here there we go One, two, three, four. and here we do an increase fantastic plus I haven't been traveling with trains that often I mean here in Sweden I have taken the train three or four times in total and back in Greece only one time in my life and that's all. That's all the experience that I have with trains. Two. Three. Four. The city that I was studying was kind of close to my home city. It was kind of like three, four hours. So I could travel via my car or the intercity bus if that makes sense and then one and two fantastic now with the rainy weather it really feels like it's seven eight o'clock in the evening i don't know i'm extremely bad at uh, understanding what's the time if i don't see a clock Finally, what do you mean? Oh, let's go to the next round, round number seven. Let me highlight it. Perfect. And we are doing back loops only. Okay. And then I should have 36. Let's see. One. Uh, 
give me a second. I need to count here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. the make or break point 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so far it seems correct but uh, if I am not like completely done I will not say anything 20 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it is correct. Now I can talk again. Our railway company has advertised the new faster Wi Fi, and it is even worse than before. Yeah, I kind of notice. I never had good experience with Wi-Fi trains, like it was always a bit shaky. And even for uh, something easier than a, a live stream, like a podcast or something, it was kind of... In general, I feel that Wi-Fi is a little bit meh to all the public spaces. Marcus, hi! How are you? And that was number 36, let's move on. Round number eight. We are doing an increase after five. Yes. One, two, three. In days like this, I just wish that I had nothing planned and I could just take my tea and have a cozy time with my book. This weather is fantastic according to me to do this. Why do I feel that I messed up here? Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, I'm glad. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And there is the increase, yeah. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Plus I appreciate the fact that inside the apartment, I don't need to have a million clothes on and it is fine like with a t-shirt and may not be mega cold or something like it is very easy to get comfortable I have to because my heating doesn't work as usual but I mean do you use heating at this season because our heating is working but I'm not using it since it is getting way too warm if I have the radiators on For me the true test is when I'm waking up and if I can go out from bed without being cold then it means that the weather is fine. If I need like a morning robe or something then 
it means that it's really cold and this is not pleasant because if I'm feeling very cold it is 10 times harder for me to get out of bed even though I'm not sleepy like I don't want to face the, the coolness of the morning Mine is automatic, but the water cycling is clogged again by air. Is this a thing? Ah, they... And you need to fix it. Yeah, I think that it, it's kind of not very hard, right? Fantastic, no mistakes so far. And let's go to round number nine. You know, um, at our radiators, we have the temperature like one, two, three, four, five, six, which is how much warmth do you need to have in your room. But also, after zero, we are having a snowflake symbol and I'm wondering, is it for summertime when you need to have a little bit cooler apartment or is it something else? I never understood this. I'm not allowed. Really? That's so stupid. Why not? It's an easy thing. I mean, I'm so used to see people doing it and I have done it, I think, at my own apartment. I don't understand it. Mine's like a sensor on the first floor that measures the outdoor temperature and when it goes too low it starts pu pushing more hot water it just in case some... ah! Th that's... I don't know... It sounds stupid to me, I mean I understand the concept but still I'm judging it <laughs> because I've already experienced a nightmare with water damage caused by a broken radio. Ooh. I've never had such an issue. So I don't know. I can only imagine. Hi Tivoli. How are you? Happy Meraki day to you too. I mean, my day hasn't started as like the definition of Meraki, but we are here to change it. <laughs> I'm doing very good. Fantastic. Let's hope that even if I'm not counting, everything is correct. At some point I had my shower. Uh, I could not turn off the... How's it called? Like the, wa the water dispensing thing. And it was like very scary. Luckily, back then, at the house that I was living, the house owners were living like at the other floor, very close to me, so I just called them and I said, this is happening, come to fix it, like I have no idea what to do. And luckily the man was a plumber or something and he knew, so I didn't destroy anything. It's pure nightmare for who lives in and who is renting it out and for neighbors even, yeah like especially if you have no idea what to do I don't know, all these kind of like damages can be very scary hey, 
let's go to the next round, round number 10. And let's see. I still try to have big plans for today. Like, I have planned <laughs> things that I would like to include in my schedule. Let's do some hydration. This time I'm gonna choose water. Like, I had enough tea already. I want to keep it for a little bit longer. Water. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Because when it happened, even my neighbors had to repaint their ceiling. One, two, three. Here it has happened once at this apartment. At this apartment. No, actually, the previous apartment that I was. But here in Sweden, anyway. And. Uh, we had something that was leaking into the apartment luckily it was just some drops and we called and they came to fix the whole thing immediately so we didn't have like a huge damage but still it was very scary something else that mm, it's not necessarily scary but it's kind of hmm what's going on okay something all right let's do it Okay, now I know. Let's do it. Um, yeah, mm, I was saying they found a, sub a substance. They wanted to check if we had a substance, which is called radonium or something. Oops, I said it. <laughs> Let me do a free hydration or something. Uh, and they came with some machines to measure it. And I was like, are we gonna die if we find it? Luckily, uh, it was okay. We didn't have it. I don't know how much in total, but it was damages. But for me, it was like 5k euros. And you paid it. Wow. Tivoli, last time, mm, Sable has done it with the word. I don't remember. And it was so hard for me to not say it. Especially, like, I was not even understanding when I was mentioning the word. And Jansko and Sable were, ah, oh, you said it. And I was like, really? <laughs> anyway, it's always a fun game. Not even to look. I know, I know. You're choosing words very strate strategically. Uh, one, two, three. Let's do an increase here. And then at the seventh. Already three times. <gasps> That's too much. I just understood the first one. Let me do two more hydrations, I guess. How's your cat? Uh, Arting? He's a bit slow, sleepy these days i don't know like i'm looking at him closely to make sure that his health is fine but i feel that it's because of the weather because it's kind of rainy and usually with rainy weather both of them become a little bit slower but i'm not sure like i wanna i wanna be a hundred percent okay that it's gonna be fine i paid 250 euros and insurance covered still it is too much money getting on I think no, because he's kind of like seven, eight years old, so he's not that old. I think it's because of the weather. Uh, usually, like rain is a a deal breaker for them and for me. I'm also kind of like more sleepy or something. I said it again. Oh my god. Because materials like almost okay, and the rest of the work of drying and replacing the plastic floor with laminate. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of things. 
and we are counting seven now. Might be for sure. What about your baby cats? Two, three, four, five, six. And here we are doing the increase. There we go. 250 was the deductible of the insurance. Next time it will be more. Is it at the apartment that you are living right now? No, right? You're doing fine, just visit the doctor with those and all good. Are you doing a yearly check or something? Oh my god, that's such a hard word. You got me there. <laughs> We have to go for uh, Luna in February because she has like a um, very small hole in her heart which is not causing her any problems but we need to examine it and make sure that it's fine and nothing has changed is not like something that we need to take care more again And I don't know if it is the same with your vets, but here, if you want to do things that are not very urgent, you have to book like months in advance. It is crazy. Yeah, it's rental apartment. Well, I hope that you're not gonna have anything bad soon because like even the 250 euros sound like a lot of money. Number seven. Really? <laughs> Not here, I booked on Monday and went on Tuesday. Wow. I remember when we wanted to do the dental surgery appointment, whatever it's called, uh, which was basically like they had some teeth that were a little bit problematic and we had to take them out. I said it again, right? Uh, I did. We tried to call in August and we booked in October. Or was July, October. 200 or something. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Of course, I didn't pay in one go, split some months. Um, still, it's a lot of money. I mean, it's money that you took out from your personal needs. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we all noticed how Jans could try to set a trap for me by writing some, and I went running into his trap <laughs> because I couldn't have afford that yeah it sounds reasonable I think already five minutes <laughs> I said it so many times so <laughs> one two three four but I have to say I have been sabotaged Five, I guess. Six, and this is seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three more. Fantastic. This is number seven. Okay. Yeah, but you cannot. You can do on the moment. 
can do anything else because it's something I have to pay anyway yeah I understand that there is no way to skip it but I don't know it sounds very horrible to have to give that much money even not at once because I can imagine like how many things can you buy like for example at the supermarket with this money and when you think that you're just tossing them tossing them. it's not tossing but it's something that you haven't planned anyway it might be hard i totally get it okay uh, round number 11 and we are doing 48 that's fantastic i don't have to count <laughs> There we go. I almost finished my tea, which is way too early because I expected to keep it like for at least an hour. I can make some more, it's fine. I'm trying a new one with strawberry and um, another berry. Is it cranberry? I think. I'm not good with berries. Like, I cannot understand what berries what in any possible language. It's not language barrier, it's knowledge barrier that I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I was paying it as bad as my landlord blaming me for the damages, even though I had nothing to do with it. I mean, it is so classic to have landlords who want to blame you because they want you to pay more or they want in the future to give you more responsibilities to pay for it is like such a classic behavior dingleberry i have no idea if it is a reference i don't get it if it is a very i don't get it as well Only Tivoli holds this knowledge. All right. These doing quite well progress is made I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish the whole cup today I'm gonna try though I mean for sure I'm not gonna stay like very very long like five hours like I did yesterday <laughs> without even knowing the time flew um, but the plan is to to try to crochet as much as I can because I have fallen behind to be honest like from the time I started the lessons I'm feeling so tired to do anything that requires brain power they really had some of them in the way before working on some <laughs> only Tivil knows I feel <laughs> And I don't think that he's here, so we are losing the, the reference. Okay. Round number 12. And here we're doing an increase every 8. Let's do it. I'm kind of worried that the yarn will not be enough and I don't have any yarn in this color here but let's all hope that it's gonna be okay because I don't wanna buy and wait like two weeks to get the yarn to continue when this is happening it is, it is killing me absolutely like I have zero motivation to continue on the project and that's two And 
this is number eight. All right. Yeah, I can tell it's not a berry, but it's up to you if you want to check it out. I mean, let me ask a question. If I want to check it out, should I do it with uh, anonymous, uh, whatever, googling? Or is it okay, family friendly? I don't know, it depends, but you can use incognito. I mean, I'm kinda curious now, so I think I will check. Let's do the anonymous searching though. It's not super bad. You know something, Jan, it's not like bad or not bad. I don't wanna get weird ads. That's my only problem with this. Searches. Yeah. Ah, okay. I see it's not bad. Okay, okay. I could have done it even without incognito. <laughs> now I know. By the way, my favorite activity or hobby, now that I'm obliged to watch the YouTube ads, is to check if the ad is actually advertising what it is saying that it is advertising and the category part. For example, foods and drinks. Is it actually foods and drink? What, is, what am I seeing right now? If it is fine, if it is not, I love to report them and get back from Google and say, yeah, oh, you were right, we have deleted this ad. It is a fantastic hobby. I don't know what kind of ads we'd get from that other than toilet. Wait, I googled and it said that it means stupid. Isn't it? Like, that's what I found. And uh, like, it, it is okay, it's very mild. No, what date I should have done a double. It is so good that I'm counting out loud so I can correct myself. I don't know if I have mentioned, uh, I I am reading The Hunger Games, the second book right now, and it is such a fantastic book. I love it. It's like the only book that I'm reading and it is making me not be, being able to put it down. It is top notch. I don't know, have you seen the films? Do you like the concept? Dingleberry Smith, 
like fences that have that uh, have got stuck around the poo hole. Ah, ah. Okay, I just found the stupid tra translation slang. Okay. It was okay, it was not like that. Oh my god, what am I seeing right now? So, fine. I was expecting worse stuff. Like, I don't know. Mm, I was expecting like a more sexual approach to this, but it's fine. And now we are doing eight rounds of uh, just singles. Okay. Okay. Where is my counter? I don't have it. Uh, grouped history? Oh, no. Uh, can I have all the tabs that I have open? No, right? What happened to all my other tabs and they went bye-bye? Ah, I need to fix that. And I have saved so much stuff. Oh, annoying. In case you don't understand what I'm saying, I had two main internet windows, windows with a lot of tabs per window and I restarted the computer and the history not it's not history and i have lost everything pretty much and i have saved stuff that might be useful for now and i cannot find them that's all that's my drama right now anyway eh, nice reading by the way fences I oh my i didn't notice what's a weird thing in the chat <laughs> and i mean i understood the concept and i'm like fences 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 <laughs> but it was something else It's not that uh, I'm able to read like a hundred percent of the times. And now we have to have 54, right? I'm gonna say right. Okay. There we go. Should I count that? I mean, I really don't wanna count and I feel that it's okay. Well, I'm kind of fast, so I have to count 16 more and then I can be back to chatting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
seven, twelve. What? How many I should have? Fifty-four. And I'm like, fifty-six. I thought that I need to have, but it's fine. Forty minutes still. It's not that much. Do you feel that it's colder now that you're traveling more to the north? I can almost crochet without seeing right now at this stage. I haven't traveled up north here in Sweden, but I have heard some horror stories about how drastically the weather is changing. By the way, I have a friend who is living kinda to the north uh, and she sent me a picture of northern lights and I'm like, already? That's fantastic! A very beautiful picture. And then another 40 minutes and taxi ride. Cool. Okay. How TF I'm supposed to know if I have been sitting on the train so far? Eh, because you know your country, I guess. And it's not the first time that you are doing this traveling, maybe. For example, even though I'm not in Greece right now, I can tell you about the weather differences in different parts of the country. Even though that I'm not traveling. No, not first time at all. Dropped like one to two degrees so far. Ah, it's not a big difference then. I expected something more drastic. I love how the cup at this stage doesn't look like a cup at all. It is like a something. <laughs> well, the fluff on this area, on the coldest, is gonna be 6 and the hottest 9 degrees. That's too cold. That's too cold. I mean, too cold for now, not in general, it's fine. But for now, it is. It's still autumn. I wanna go to a place that has fireplace and I wanna cozy up with cold weather. It's something that I wanna do like so long now. Yeah, but combine. Six and nine. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to minus 30. If you're inside the apartment or something else, cafe, whatever, it is kind of... It can be cozy. I don't say that it, it can be that pleasant, but it can be, technically. If you're outside, big no-no. Okay, um, let's move on to round number... Okay, we have to do 18. That's fine. I think that the yarn will be enough. Because I have to do four more and I have quite a lot. So let's cross our fingers. I'm 
I'm so curious to see if the big ones are gonna sell better or if the small ones are gonna sell better. Mega curious. I would say the big ones are more fluffy and more kind of like nice to have them for hugs in your bed, something like that. The smaller ones can have more details and it can be like more clear to see the patterns and stuff. It's all about clothing and mental stiffness, aka Finis Sisu to survive on cold weather. Minus 25 piece of cake. I mean, if you have to be out to go to your work or do stuff, you're gonna do that. Like, it's not a choice anymore. But it's not pleasant. To me, again, the most difficult part is to get out of the bed if the weather is so cold. Because I don't get motivated. I feel that if I get out of bed, I'm gonna be mega cold. So... I want to avoid that. Plus I don't like the idea of having a lot of clothes because it is heavy and I do not get to move freely and this is like a kind of, I don't know, I feel that it is very, um, it is putting a limit to what I can do movement wise and I don't like this feeling. Just try to cold shower and go to go. Never. I mean, I do not take cold showers, not even during summer. I can't. There was one time in my life that I had to get a cold shower because we were at a hotel and the warm water function didn't work. And I was sick for months after that, like big no-no. To swim in a cold lake or something, it is negotiable, but to shower, Right, round number 16. I love cold showers. I don't love torturing in general. And I mean, with the swimming sessions, at least I can feel that I can have some movements. I get to be in nature. But with shower, it's just like torturing. Big no no. And Divili, that was golden. <laughs> Are you talking from personal experience? <laughs> Has he asked stuff from you? <laughs> I want to do the thing that um, they are doing during winter here, that they... Vivian the flower, thank you so much for following. Welcome, welcome here. I'm crocheting a chocolate cup. Hi. Are you a crocheter as well? Anyway, I was saying that um, here in Sweden a lot of people are opening a hole in the frozen lake and they are going into the hole and they are swimming there or staying in the water for a while. This is something that I would love to try. Hello, looking for someone to chit chat while I work on some crochet stuff. We are here for you. <laughs> What are you crocheting? Also, 
whenever I read that, that someone is crocheting and being able to do something like writing at the same time, it is mind blowing to me because I can talk, but if I think that I need to type something, it is like a whole different thing that I cannot multitask in this way. I've only been doing it since uh, 13th, so I've not really been doing it super long time. Kind of working on a sort of patchwork blanket, almost. Oh, good luck with that! I have tried it and it's kind of nice, but also big risk of getting muscle cramps. Really, no one told me about that. And after this you're feeling like very healthy and uh, strong and stuff like that. That's what I have heard, at least. Also, a classmate of mine here at uni uh, decided that it's a good idea to dig a hole, for example here, and a second hole some meters away from the first one and go under the ice and try to swim from the first hole to the second hole and that was mega dangerous because he almost could not find the second hole it was fine, he's fine, he's still living uh, but he told me like how scary was it as an experience I'm like, why did you even do it? I'm autistic and love repetitive nature of crochet so once I learned how to do it, I've been obsessed as it gets me into a relaxed state of mind. It's so nice to hear that you feel good with crocheting. Do you have any other hobbies that um, makes you feel the same type of coziness and uh, relaxation and all this good stuff that I think we all need? Not really, just feeling cold and having immense pain due to the cal- Okay! That's a whole different perspective! But I feel that it also depends who is talking about it in the two people <laughs> that have actually experienced that were sort of tourists i would say because the the guy that did the whole thing he's from spain originally so he doesn't have similar experiences in spain and the other girl who did that is from poland so again like it's not very common for her to do such activities so i think the approach of them was different like both of them were mega excited to try something new and since like i might have this tourist mentality because yeah i'm from greece and in greece we don't have that i feel that i would be in this excited side quite a few craft hobbies latch hooking working with plastic canvas painting and soon i'll be learning how to do Ooh, that's fantastic My biggest thing is doing makeup. I love working with colors of any sort. <laughs> but whatever it is creative and it needs a little bit of learning process or uh, it can give you a result that you can touch, I'm into it. My mother is quite crafty, so I learned a lot from her. But a mental health place I'm a part uh, of for treatment, does classes sometimes and they had a crochet class I only got one class but since that one class I've used YouTube to help me learn as they didn't have enough people for the class oh I see I learned almost exclusively from YouTube uh, for me when it comes to art I feel that either I need like something in the YouTube nature, 
that I can pause and watch again and again or I need private lessons so I do not have to follow anyone else like I want to work with my own pace if that makes sense and I have zero knowledge on crocheting but just here for the vibes <laughs> that's not true actually Jansku you know some basics you're not crocheting, but you know some basics. <laughs> Round number 17. Uh, by the way, Vivian, I'm going to show you actually what I'm doing because it is a free pattern. So if you're interested, I can send you the pattern. Wait. Here I am with my cup. So this is the final product. Uh, it's a cup with chocolate and whipped cream and it's a relatively easy pattern that's why I'm doing it on stream <laughs> because I want to be able to talk at the same time so if you're interested let me know and I can send you the pattern I don't know if you are into Amigurumi stuff I don't remember anything from that short class we had at school as mandatory course but uh, actually Mm, it was one night that me and Sable were showing you the Simply Chain and you did some and it was decent. That's so cute, it's so adorable, thank you so much. Do you know the store Hobby that you can buy yarns and stuff from them? Uh, they actually have some free patterns and I got this one from Hobby, the, the store. To be honest, I do not shop from there because it is mega expensive. So I have found another store that has more fair prices. I don't know if you are based in Europe. I live in Sweden, so I don't have like all the alternatives that American people <laughs> have. But I have found some good alternatives to this. I didn't because I have to know the hook for it. You didn't do a, a something to replace the hook. At least this is what I remember. If I'm mistaken, okay. But I remember we did something. Or, wait, the chain that you showed us were from your school years. Anyway, the evidence exists in Discord. I haven't really done anything with plushy patterns just yet, as I've mostly did single crochet flat squares, kind of patterns and maybe a circle. Actually, the, the amigurumi style is very easy because you basically learn to do like the circle and then you're working with increases and decreases to most of the patterns and this, like, it is so repetitive uh, and according to me it is a very beginner friendly pattern if you know like increase, decrease, what else? And back loop, which is okay. So don't get discouraged, like, it is easy. I have nothing to replace with. It was my, aha, okay, okay. That six meter stitch chain from the first grade, okay. You know, Jansku, if I had like crocheting as a mandatory lesson at school, I don't know if I would like it. I have a thing with all the things that I learned at school that I never found that interesting or the way that we were taught them was not that interesting at least for me for example I'm so much into painting and stuff and we had like art classes like art which was not that much of art and the way that they taught us like I didn't like it they they were like okay take this and copy it and this is not how I am personally learning and that's why I mentioned before like if I'm gonna do any art craft related things I want to do either private tutoring or YouTube videos where I can pause and take my time and actually choose what I want to learn and what is a good way to go like first steps later later until you can be in a decent level all i remember from there was the day i managed to destroy my left index finger from crocheting 
With a ah, sewing machine. I don't know how to use them. My grandma used to have a sewing machine, but uh, no idea. Plus, we have bought a sewing machine. Because at some point in my life, the plan was to create kind of like, not necessarily cosplay, but uh, try to recreate characters from games and stuff. And uh, we needed to sew some things. This project failed a bit, <laughs> but I I want to go back to this at some point when I will have a little bit more free time, maybe, involved it completely and some nerves. Wow, now that sounds so severe. Wow. I mean, you still have problems even now. Vivian, did you do any crafty or artsy lessons at school? Did you have anything like this? And that's the last one. It was stuck or something, then putting too much power on the throttle. And kabam! It's gone through my finger. Wow! Sounds very painful. On the other hand, you know something, as you're talking about crocheting and sewing machines and stuff like that, I'm thinking how like open-minded the educational system is because when I was like a child, all these things were almost exclusively girl things and uh, boys were not into these. And like, this is so bad if you think about it. But I'm glad at least that some country they were not labeled as girls or boys hobbies slash activities. Round number 19 and here we are doing front loops only. Oh, and that's all. Right. Yeah. Nothing else. Interesting. Um, the most I had was like painting art class, but the US doesn't really offer interesting art crafty classes because kids are crazy and would hurt each other <laughs> so the schools don't let us hey i only had like painting i don't want to call it painting like it was not that much of painting and music music was a drama like we were doing pretty much nothing and we didn't learn anything like it was so much of nothing that we never got to understand the art got to meet like what being a musician is what being a painter is and this is like such a shame it wasn't to be honest my classmates were more terrified than me music and art classes were the best i guess if you are doing them correctly they can be fantastic but like we were focusing on repeating a song like with every mistake that you could imagine no one was correcting us no one was trying to tell us like something of value we were just singing i remember like i used to find it so pointless that my personal private joke was just to move my lips without singing and i found it so funny for some reason and no one even noticed that no one took us individually saying mm, you're doing this try that or i see that you have talent in this why not trying this as a homework or something so like absolutely pointless i had a ceramics class in high school but we really weren't allowed anything sharp for tools okay dull exacto knives and dull carving tools but uh, even this is interesting like i never i've never touched anything ceramic in my life and i'm very interested in like miniatures and stuff like that and like english classes because we didn't have to learn much as we knew most of the stuff already. In Greece, at least when I was at school, like the English class was such a joke because if you wanted to learn proper English, you had to go like on private tutoring or 
outside school education, as we like to call it. And um, at school, everyone, every one of the teachers knew that we were doing such thing. So they didn't really care to teach us the language and we were doing pretty much nothing. So if someone's parent did not, enough, did not have enough money to send the child for private tutoring, then basically they could not speak English that much. I don't know if they have changed it nowadays, but I remember it was like hard. And the level of the English lessons was not the highest possible, let's see. Last round before I start with the chocolate. And uh, I remember I have started my first six years in a public school and then uh, my family decided to send me to a private school for better education. It was not that better, to be honest, but at least at the English department I didn't need to be private tutored anymore, so that was like a game. But then, uh, at the last two years of school, I went back to a public school because basically we didn't have money anymore to support the private school idea and the English was again very low level. I thought I messed up my project at first but then I ran out of yarn and had to add more. Oof. Oh my god why? Why Automod is doing stuff? Let me allow it. I swear the panic of worry about messing is hell. I know that yesterday I messed up my birthday cake and like the way that I felt stressed I can relate a hundred percent to what you're saying right now you're not alone <laughs> I'm gonna say something mainly to myself like if you don't do mistakes you're not learning i know how hard and disheartening can be but it is a part of the process and since you are a crafty person and you have done stuff in your life <laughs> i would say you have heard this before i have heard this before it doesn't make that much of a difference though <laughs> I'm so glad that I see that the blue yarn is enough. I'm so glad. Vocational school English classes were even more chill because some of them were during pandemic time. You're so young, young school, and you're reminding me that all the time. <laughs> so we did all stuff in a day for the whole course so we could chill the rest of the session season. Okay, interesting. But wait, during 2020 you were still at school. You were so young. I'm 28. During pandemic, I was teaching my own lessons. <laughs> I have finished with uni and I was doing the private tutoring that I mentioned before. So getting to hear that someone was still at school, it is a little bit a reminder of my age. <laughs> I'm joking, it's fine. I don't feel old. Or... <laughs> no, it's fine. I started that school year later than the others though. Okay, why? I'm 22 and been graduated since I was 16. It's funny because a lot of people don't believe me. Is it a thing? Can you graduate when you are 16? In Greece, if you want to finish like the basic school education, you need to be 18. It's not mandatory to graduate at 18. You can do it earlier, but pretty much you cannot find any job if you do it earlier. So it is not common to see people doing it. Personally, I don't know anyone who has done it. Even though if you decide like, I don't wanna do anything in university or something like that, and I wanna do more practical stuff, you need to be 18 to finish with the school, if that makes sense. You're also so young. <laughs> what is going on with the ages today? <laughs> 
I was supposed to have second degree studies starting in 2017. I have already allowed this word. Oh my god. Automod is doing automod stuff today. I don't know. Uh, but started 2018 due to few reasons. Ah, okay. And when we say second degree, is it three years? In Greece, it is like the first school, first degree. It is from six to 12. Then you have um, secondary education, which is first school from 12 to 15, and this is mandatory. And then from 16 to 18, let's say, 15, 16 to 18, three years. It is not mandatory, but it's the case that I was describing before. Uh, and this is called second degree. I live in the US, so the reason I graduated so early, because there is uh, an at your own pace school. That's fantastic. In the state, I mean, so I was able to graduate. Oh. That's fantastic. I know about a lot of cases that were more advanced uh, in comparison with their classmates, but they could not like finish earlier or something because they had to be uh, doing what the majority was doing. Yeah, it is three. And it is mandatory, right? Right. Plus, when we are at the two last years, like the age 17 to 18, pretty much, uh, you get to choose if you are going to follow like more uh, language oriented science or uh, more kind of like maths, physics, stuff like that. And then you are taking the core lessons according to this and pretty much you don't pay attention to the others that you have rejected, which is very bad in a way, because you, you're you becoming so narrow-minded as a person, because you don't get to see everything. One year of it is at least such as college or vocational school. Oh, I see. And you know, since now I'm a teacher myself, I see like the whole system from my students' perspective and how many things they have to learn that they do not matter that much. For example, during history lessons, they have to learn the exact dates, which is like, if it was on the 27th of May or 28th, why does this make such a big difference for the historical event? in comparison to the actual reasons about it, to the consequences, all this stuff. And I don't know, I feel that the school is focusing to the wrong points, in my opinion, at least. And I mean, how can you expect a child to like history if the main goal is to learn all these dates by heart and not the events? I mean, I had a classmate at some point at the secondary school and uh, she was learning by heart without even understanding what she was talking about and um, the teacher tried to examine her about the day's lesson or something and uh, she ended up and because of this and that a war started and the teacher asked her what do you think about the war is it a good thing about humanity or a bad thing and she was like i don't know it was not written in the book the book ended with and the war started sentence and we're like oh my god seriously no i gotta go for a bit arriving at the station and switching trains my tune back soon all right Jansku, enjoy the rest of your trip <laughs> hey i think we are done with the blue part 
Now I'm gonna cut the yarn and I'm gonna bring the brown yarn so to do the chocolate part. There we go, and now let's burn it. All right. Maybe I burned a little bit too much. Maybe it's gonna be fine. We will find out at the next episode when I'm gonna use blue again. So Vivian, you mentioned that you are from the USA. I hope that you're not close to the hurricane that is happening at the Florida right now. I hope that you're safe, you and your family. Let me switch and I will be back. The brown yarn is here. Oh my God, with the Ottoman today. <laughs> And you know guys, I think I have allowed this word, okay? I said Ottoman, it's fine. But the Ottoman said, no, think again about that. Answer, no fun, but at least I can see what is going on. Uh, I have finished with the cup and now I'm about to start with the chocolate part. Ottoman. Please, I'm being nice. <laughs> I think that Ottoman is everyone's problem right here. And it is working in a weird way because usually when I allowed a word, at least for the rest of the stream, the word was okay. But now it's not. And I don't know what's going on. I suppose I have to check it after the stream and make sure that we are okay. But I asked you, like, um, you mentioned you are from the US and I know about the hurricane in Florida right now. Are you fine? You and your family, are you safe? Okay, let's move on to the chocolate part. So we're gonna do decreases and we have to work at the back loop. Okay. All right, I see. So here we are having the back loops and this is where we are starting from. So we are igno ignoring this first row, round, whatever it's called. I'm thankfully not in one of the states where the hurricane is hitting. I'm in a place called Michigan, so I'm far enough from it. I'm happy to hear about that, that you're safe at least. I know about Michigan as a name. Uh, I don't have like the map in my head to, to place it. But you know, since the um, exams that we were taking for the English degrees, were either from Michigan University or from Cambridge. I know Michigan like from a very young age. So for you it's morning time right now, right? For me it is almost five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> but my boyfriend is uh, in a spot where it's making me worry about he's in Kentucky. Uh, we are the state that's in the shape of a mitten. Someone said, ah, yeah, now I get it. Well, I hope that your boyfriend will be fine. I really hope that. I mean, it might, but my, I can't speak. It must be horrible for the people like, especially with the technology that we have nowadays, like to see it from the internet, live map approaching your area and don't have a lot of choice i don't know like i've never been to a country that actually has hurricanes so i can only imagine how horrible it might be but i really feel for all the people that have to be through this 
Okay, so there we go. Let's start from here. In general, I don't think that I have seen very extreme phenomena when it comes to like weather or earthquakes and stuff like that. I have been to a relatively strong earthquake, but in the end it was not that bad, like no one got hurt or died or something like that, so it was mainly okay. It was a bit scary, but that's all. So, one. Here we have number two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and that's number eight. You know something, I forgot to fix the face. So I have to stop here, do the face, and then continue later with the chocolate part. From uh, what I know, the areas were already hit by the last hurricane are just being hit with problems because they haven't had time to recover wow from that last one before this one so it's been rough yeah it sounds very hard actually especially for those that do not have somewhere to evacuate to some people can't afford to evacuate or have family to go to so i just hope those that can't evacuate will be okay um, you know, I had the impression that almost everyone who is living in an area that can potentially be hit by a hurricane have kind of like basements at their houses or stuff like that, but from what you say, I guess this is not the rule, right? Let me bring the eyes. Number 16, yeah. Not necessarily, uh, but a basement isn't exactly the place you want to be entirely during a hurricane. Okay, like I have no idea about the whole topic. So what is like a good place that you can be if you don't have any relatives, uh, relatives or something that you can go to a different city or something like that? Because basements can float through from the much water and some people might end up trapped. True. Yeah, in my head I had the impression that um, they can seal somehow. Uh, so the water would not be inside. But yeah, like it makes absolute sense. Alright, let me check one more time if they are the same. Yes, they are the same. And we need to have them between round 13 and 14. 13 and 14 is a big ask, I would say, because... But I'm gonna find... So this is uh, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and 14. Uh, so we need them here, right? There we go. Okay. Let's see. Six stitches apart. All right. Let me put it here to make it easier for myself. Mm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. Seems correct. Seems correct. Okay. These are gonna be the eyes. <laughs> uh, I have to 
add the stoppers seemingly random curiosity question if you didn't have the beaded eyes could you just use yarn to kind of show the eyes uh, yes and i'm gonna show you a plushie where i actually have done this give me a second So, I don't know if you know about Pokemon, this is Oddish and as you can see the eyes are kinda made of yarn because I needed this anime effect of uh, the white part and uh, it was a better idea just to make them and then sew them on uh, but I feel that with the cap the plastic eyes are looking better like they are vibing more <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's such a cute Pokemon because first of all, I love the color scheme and then it's like big feet and stuff like that. It's so cute. And I love the kind of like green on the head. <laughs> you know, I'm planning to go on markets and sell my plushies um, and I don't know about copyrights and stuff like that. Or maybe I know that's why I try to avoid having copyrighted characters. Um, and I haven't thought about it when I create. I was creating Oddish, but even though I want to make like Hello Kitty and Kurobi and stuff like that, I I will avoid because um, things can go bad very quickly, and I don't want to be in trouble. Switching done, fantastic. You didn't have to wait. I have associated trains and stuff like that with a lot of waiting not from personal experience but from what i've heard by the way i have this box that i store my eyes and um, give me a second to show you i have all my eyes in smaller containers Fun fact, these are from the hair dyes that I have been using. So I have one for the actual eyes and one for the stoppers. And in this way, I keep everything neat and organized and very easy to access them. I think here. Yeah, I have associated the train situation with a lot of waiting. So it is kind of surprisingly impressive that you did it that fast. Let me bring the yarns. Trying not to be mega annoying for the baby that is sleeping behind me. I mean, I have to wait now 15 minutes to go again, but as this one starts here, it is already on platform. Ah, okay, still it's not that much, but got inside already. Yeah, exactly, like, I was thinking it might be, you know, at least an hour. I'm using this vibrant pink for uh, the cheeks, which is acrylic. I mean, I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's way thinner than the other one. No, it's really like that. <laughs> it shows how inexperienced I am when it comes to trains. Okay. And again, like I've never needed to switch. So, well, on my way back, I got one and a half hour switching, but uh, it's different from my usual. Okay, but this is exactly what I meant, like, or, or what I was waiting to hear. I'm gonna start having the cheeks here. It's 
it's most of the time you have five minutes or like two hours mostly really quick ones personally i feel that the train traveling is the best way of transportation i mean even better than a car because you get to admire the view it is comfortable in comparison to plane for example and uh, it doesn't make you feel like very claustrophobic like the plane so it is my favorite it's not the fastest but i like the idea of being in a train and traveling via train okay i think the other chick will be uh, there the only reason to switch is that I was going up north and now I'm going to east. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Alright, let me fix the cheek here. Fantastic. We have a face. Alrighty. Let me fix the smile as well. I hate when this is happening. I'm cutting and it's not cut. Okay, now we have it. All right. I have figured that it's way more helpful if I have like bigger strands to work with let me have the smile exactly right here are you feeling tired Jansku after all this traveling a little bit more helpful <laughs> all right there we go maybe i can have it a little bit here for example there we go can wait to get it something and take a call really after all the traveling and the, oh, all the things that you had to do and to get tired you're thinking about cold showers really how are you relaxing with a cold shower? Like, I kinda understand it if you wanna do it early in the morning, but if you wanna do it late at night before you go to bed or something, like, why? Yes and no, being tired all day. I'm kinda the same. Relaxing my muscles, but it doesn't wake you up. And the warm water is not even more relaxing. A lot of questions here. <laughs> very tired and a long list of health benefits if you take I mean let's say that I'm not against cold showers which I am but let's say if you want to take one take it in the morning <laughs> sleepy kitty sleepy I mean, we have automatic feeders and right now they took the food out and usually he hears the sound and he's like, oh, food, but today he's very tired. I would say it's because of the weather, but I'm not sure about it. 
Also saves electricity and money. Okay about that. But still, I don't know. Not a big fan of that. I'm not judging, or maybe I'm judging a little bit. <laughs> no, no, that's a joke. Oh, baby, he's going to eat. I got raised with using too much hot water. Not using too much hot water anyway. I don't know, I've never done this in my life, so I cannot tell. But I mean, if you're used to it, I guess it's fine. For you. Okay, the cheeks are here. I'm gonna make sure that the smile is also okay i have a cat and a dog so both are pretty sleepy but fit perfect with this family as both love to sleep when we do i mean i can relate like um this baby artin artin is his name uh, i have him like since he was born pretty much because uh, when I found his mom which I also have her but she's not in my room she prefers to stay with my boyfriend uh, anyway when I found her she was pregnant so she gave birth into my apartment and um, from all the babies kind of like Artin chose me and we are so similar to the like what we like how we react to things so i definitely understand like pets that are fitting the vibe of a family what are their names your cats and dogs names hi Mipi. <laughs> i'm i'm kind of tired today but not sleepy necessarily on the other hand i still want to think that i have plans <laughs> so i do not allow myself to to feel very tired I will use this tiredness to hopefully sleep a little bit better at night. Okay, the face is done. And I'm about to do the handle. So I will attach this as well. Angelina, oh, that, that's a nice name. It's my dog's name, she's nine, and my service dog. Scuba is my cat, and she's three. Fantastic. I never experienced having a dog. I mean, my dad used to have a dog, but uh, when he actually adopted it, I was not living with him, I was studying. So I just visited here and there. The dog was very nice, but he, he was old. So I don't know how it is. I feel it's a big responsibility though. Like I have so much respect for people who are actually adopting a dog and being able to keep up with all the dog's needs and stuff like that. My dog will be nearly 10, but she doesn't act it. See, she still acts like an energetic puppy. Oh, that's so adorable. Are you in the mood like to to be in the same kind of like energy level with her and being able to play with her as much as she wants? I'm gonna bring the blue again because I forgot that I wanted to do the handle. But I have noticed this so much with Luna, that she is a very low energy cat. She doesn't like being with very energetic people in the sense like if someone is moving a lot, if someone is, um, is 
how can I describe it? Like when you're happy and you have a burst of energy like that, she's kind of, no, I'm a chill baby. I don't want to do that. And that's why even though she loves me, and I know that she loves me because every time that I'm sad, she's there and she tries to comfort me and stuff like that. She doesn't enjoy to be in the same room with me for a long time. Oh. Generally, depending on the dog's personality and energy level, they can be almost as chill as a cat to a point they just doing whatever. They are really impressive. So yeah, that's why she prefers to be with my boyfriend, because he's also very chill as a person. And why I have all these bursts of energies and I'm moving a lot when I'm doing stuff and I'm talking a lot. I have Artin, who is exactly the same like with me. He's having a lot of energies. He's running a lot, he's playing a lot, he's doing things, he destroys things and like we love being with each other because we are kind of like high maintenance people. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're starting with a magic ring and six single dice. Okay, one, two. I always forget to do the handle, always. Three, four, five. Fantastic. Okay, let me put the stitch marker here. So, Vivian, how did you adopt your babies? Is it like, um, for example, in Greece, we have a lot of street cats, dogs, whatever. So you can go to like adoption shelters and stuff like that. But I found Luna in the street, pretty much. And I knew that she needed me. That's why I adopted her. I'm curious, how is the situation in the US? Baby, come in! I can hear you, come in! Jansko, where is this emoji from? Because I'm so familiar with it, but I cannot remember how it started. Uh, and then we're doing in Greece. Yeah, no! Not in Greece, okay! It's on my friend's... But it's not from somewhere. Three, four. Oh, did I skip one? I hate when I skip stuff and I have to do it all over again. <laughs> I mean. Just generic PP. Mm. So tons of people use them. Okay, I see. You know, I was um, upgrading my emojis today, at least the animated ones, and I saw some people using like more, um, like not personalized emojis, more widely available, and I'm wondering if it is a good idea or not. Because, I mean. That's a thing of personal opinion, I guess. But do you have any input on this? Like, I would say that on my channel I want to have something more personal. Four. Five. And six, there we go. Didn't hear. Ah, I just bought a pack of four, eight hundred emojis for like three pounds. 
Wow. Yeah, I, I was asking like, what do you think about these more widely available emojis versus the more personalized emojis that are making sense for your stream and your personality and what are you doing? Something like that. Uh, let me set my counter again. There we go. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Okay, I cannot count today. Nothing wrong with them. Um, it's always better for a channel image to have custom. Yeah, because in my opinion, like you have a reference from the things that you are doing, not just generic stuff that might look good. On the other hand, <laughs> right now, I do not have like a million of references that I can turn into emojis, so... And even from a different perspective, I don't feel the need to fill all the emoji spots that I have available right now. I mean, I have things that make sense and I'm happy with them. Instead of having like a million things that might be beautiful but are a little bit random. One, two, three, four... Well, we're gonna do round number two once again, and then we will be happy. One, two, three. Four. It's still wrong. I'm gonna fix it in this way and we all gonna be happy that's number six here okay round number four oh it is already five o'clock my god time flies it is so disorienting when i see that it is almost dark outside. <laughs> Me yesterday. I will be finished with the handle and then I'm gonna end the stream. We will see though. One. I need to prep my ticket to my phone before the conductor comes here. Yeah, sure, take your time. Uh, number five. that I have traveled with train almost no one asked for my ticket we have trust to each other five and six and after they start ordering a taxi to the station are you using an app or something 
I avoid taxis since they are mega expensive here. So I have no idea about all the apps and things that you can do to make your life easier. Let's pull this out. Either app or call. Call, yeah, I'm used to it, but apps. Mm. Like, one time we took a taxi from the supermarket that was mm, almost at the center to our apartment and it was 80 something euros because we had like a lot of um, uh, bags of the things that we purchased from the supermarket and it was crazy it was the christmas shopping session so it was a lot but still a hundred euros for that no i have no other way than taxi or walk five kilometers yeah i see Okay, this round is also done, let me add it to the clip counter and move on, yeah. gonna be around only 20 euros, okay then, doesn't sound very bad, and I have to do 13, really. For 5... Five kilometers if you walk, it is almost one and a half hour, right? Oh. Yeah, still like, I would expect to hear something more expensive. I don't say that it's not a lot of money, but after this hundred euros, I would expect to hear something more. With my bags, it's longer time. True, you have your uh, luggage, yeah. Yeah, I didn't thought about it. And if the weather is like it is here with rain and stuff, it's not like a pleasant walk. Uh, round number seven, halfway there. Huh? One. Correct. Fantastic. Do you have any plans for tonight or are you just resting after your trip? Okay. Round number eight. Shower, chill. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I don't know if it is because of the season, but these days I do not feel hungry at all. Like, during summer there were some days that I was mega hungry, but the last month I would say, I do not necessarily feel this like I want to eat thing. I'm eating because I need to eat, but I do not feel like, oh, I wish I had this or that.
I heard someone is laughing from the corridor. I'm like, okay. Uh, did they click? Let me click. It's fine. One. Two. Three. Ticket checked, now just need to set my taxi up. Nice. One. In Greece, usually outside of um, train stations or uh, bus, uh, intercity buses and stuff, uh, there are a lot of taxis which are waiting for customers. I don't think that I have seen it here in Sweden at all. So I guess it's not a thing in Finland. But in Greece you don't need to call or um, take care about it. Like there are already taxis which are waiting for you. Round number 10. Again, we are one minus. No, it's fine. I just didn't see it. Okay, okay. It's so dark already. Yeah, I noticed. It is so dark and so disorienting because it's so dark. And we didn't even change to winter time yet. I guess winter is here. Winter is coming and all the other Game of Thrones references. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I don't know if it is a thing in Finland, but uh, I have heard some discussions that uh, people in higher positions like governments and stuff like that are saying that they might stop changing the time from summer to winter and it's gonna be like one time zone for the whole year. I don't know why is it a thing and why they want to do it but they are talking about it. It's been a thing for years. Do you know like what's the gain if they stop changing? Two, three, four, five, and six. But just not done yet. Getting rid of all the hustle of it. To be honest, I don't really get it. I mean, what's that big of a hassle that they cannot handle? It is mostly automatically now, but okay. I mean, there was a reason that this whole system has started, just to save energy and stuff like that. Cheers. Because no one knows when to switch time and what way. Uh, yes, but it is happening automatically. Like, you don't have to change your phone, you don't have to change your computer. Six. 
all the other stuff. I cannot think of something useful that I need to change. For example, the automatic feeders that we have for the babies, okay? Yeah, they need to be changed. And usually we do not change them. But they are eating like an hour earlier or later, depending. Hey, it's fine. Like my wristwatch. I don't use wristwatch. It is stressing me. <laughs> Clocks in general, I don't like them. But again, like you can have a look at your phone and change it accordingly. Which was which now? I'm gonna do it randomly and I hope that it's gonna be okay. So happy that the blue yarn was enough and I didn't have to buy more. Oh, let me put it. And continue a little bit with the handle. All right. There we go. I think the electric lighter or whatever it's called is like among the best investments that we have done. <laughs> but what if someday all phones and internet are dead and people have no idea what day and time is? For me, this sounds like a, a dream scenario. Because every time that I have vacation or something that I don't need to be at work or whatever, I'm losing the sense of time and the feeling is so good somehow. Now, if you need to go to work, I don't know, call your boss and tell like, in how many hours do you want me to be there? All right, let's do the swing step. because I don't want to leave it half finished it's not a thing that I'm doing <laughs> there we go and it's the song I hate but I'm not gonna change it now I'm just gonna focus on the handle Isn't it very irritating when there is a song that you don't like, but you hear it all the time. So you ending up singing alone, alone. It's like, I feel betrayed from my own self. <laughs> all right, how the handle is done. Let me do the final thing to secure it. And I have to do the bottom part. And I'm gonna be done with that as well. Alrighty. Perfect. Ah, come out! <laughs> okay. And I have to do this part. Which is Shumul. Like any pop song from the radio in public. You can turn it off. And have it to suffer. <laughs> I know. Uh, plus supermarkets and whatever public places anyway and tiktok like um ah okay 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 i get it and tiktok even though it's not like a public place with this sense there are some things that you get to see so many times that even if you don't like the trend the song the whatever it's like ah oh, now i know it now i sing along ah oh. i don't want 
TikTok, so no problem. E I kind of watch. I don't know. There are a lot of good things in TikTok that I I enjoy. I can gain things and even knowledge. I would say even knowledge <laughs> from them. So every now and then. Plus, it's good to see like what is trending and what is not. I'm not saying that I'm gonna follow a trend if it doesn't express my personality and who I am. But it's good to know what could be a trend. I just don't like the platform. Why? You can actually learn things if you really, I don't know, train the algorithm to, to show you more educational stuff. Is it time to finish it? I think yes. Right. Okay. Yep, it's time. Just fear cancer? I don't know. I don't say that uh, like 100% of my time there is all purely educational and I'm gaining so many things. But I have learned some good things, even some recipes and stuff. I just don't say that mm, it's black and white, that's all. It is like one of the 50 shades of grey. But I have to go now, arriving at my station soon. And time to order a taxi. Alright, actually I'm gonna end the stream right now because, as you see, I'm done with the handle and I don't wanna do the chocolate part. So, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that you're gonna have fun and see you again soon. Good night and have fun. Bye.